Welcome to your Phoenix Medicine Journey. I am Maggie of Maggie'sBliss.com. Find a place where you will not be distracted for this time. Whether seated or laying down, allow your body to become calm and steady. Every muscle in your body melting, relaxing, releasing the tension, releasing the worries of the past and the future, only now exists. There's nothing to do, nowhere to be, just being here right now, breathing. Begin to take beautiful, deep, cleansing breaths, breathing fully and deeply in and out. Inhaling light from 360 degrees. Exhaling dark energy. Inhale light energy from the stars. Exhale, release all that no longer serves you. Inhale light and light codes from the sun. Exhale, dark and dark codes. Release, let go. Allow all that no longer serves you to be sent down through your feet deep into Mother Earth, where Gaia can take the energy and transform and transmute it into pure light. With each breath going deeper and deeper into relaxation. As you inhale light into your heart center from all directions, allow that light to expand in a sphere of energy, expanding and growing wider and wider, filling and engulfing your entire body, your entire aura. In this sphere of light, only Uplifting light-filled energy is allowed to flow in. Only uplifting light-filled energy is allowed to flow out. And all the rest is allowed out down into the earth for transmutation into pure light. We call in the great guardians, angels, archangels, gatekeepers of the four cardinal directions beginning in the east element of air. Archangel Raphael resides here of the green ray energy. Here we align to eagle condor, showing us to step out of our comfort zone, to fly wing to wing with great spirit have higher perspective and see the forest for the trees. Turning clockwise, we invite in the direction of south, element of fire. Archangel Michael resides here of the electric blue ray. And here we connect to snake medicine, phoenix medicine, showing us how to shed our past the way the snake sheds its skin. And turning clockwise to the direction of west. Element of water. Archangel Gabriel resides here of the diamond white ray with his beautiful chalice. He fills his chalice and invites you to take a sip, to drink, to heal you at a cellular level. He 
Here we connect to panther, puma, jaguar, showing us the way across the rainbow bridge to be a warrior and have no enemies in this world of the next. Turning to the direction of north, element of earth, Archangel Uriel resides here of the red ray. Here we connect to Hummingbird. Hummingbird shows us to align with our upliftment, our pure joy, to drink from the nectar of life as it is our fuel, our fuel for our soul. As we align more with our bliss, we rise and our bliss is our spiritual compass. Follow your bliss. We connect to the stone people, the tree people, the plant people, the crystal people here in the north. And we also invite in the luminous ones, the luminaries, the ancient ones who have done the work, crossed into light, our inhaled space, as well as our future luminous self from 10,000 years in the future to be here now in this ever-evolving present now moment, working for our highest and best good always. And in the vertical force, we invite in Archangel Sandolphin of the 5D Earth's crystalline grid below us of the lower world. Here, Archangel Huascar resides as well. Allowing the silver energy to rise from the 5D Earth's crystalline center, crystalline core. It rises through the earth into your feet, your legs, your knees, your thighs. Feel the energy rising through your hips, penetrating your root chakra, sacral, power center, anchoring at your heart center. Here at the heart center, we invite in Archangel Shamuel, who comes in with sparkling pink, unconditionally loving energy. Here in the middle world, we connect to Quetzalcoatl, the winged serpent. Here we are reminded we do not need to micromanage our life. Here in the now moment, all is well. And now we invite in Archangel Metatron of the Christ Grid, Buddha Consciousness, Galactic Central Sun above. Archangel Pachacuti. Of the higher worlds, the upper worlds. Reminding us that there is much work for us that we can do at the higher dimensional level to manage what is and will be manifest in the middle world and what will not. And now the golden energy from above floats down into your crown, your third eye, your throat, and anchoring the ascension grid into your heart center. Seven angels all around you, above you, below you, within you, as above, so below, as within, so without. Anything positive and negative that would do you harm is not allowed to flow near. Take this time now to find yourself in your safe, sacred space. It may be out in nature, in the woods, in a garden, by the ocean, or somewhere deep in space amongst the stars. And wherever this is for you, this is your sacred space. Only those you invite are allowed to flow near. Allow yourself to find peace, to rest and heal 
rejuvenate here in your sacred space. Really crystallize this in your vision. Feel the energy, smell the energy, see the energy, the light codes, the frequencies. Soon, a figure appears in the distance, your spirit guide. As they come closer, their features become clearer. Notice the colors of their clothes, their skin, their hair, their eyes. Notice if they are human in form or star being. Feel the familiarity of your spirit guide's energy. Recognizing them soul to soul. Your spirit guide takes you on a journey Holding your hand, they begin to walk you towards a beautiful portal of bright white light, high in vibrational energy. The warmth, the energy is inviting. And as you step through with your spirit guide, you pause here to bask in the glow of this bright white light, blinding, cleansing, purifying energy. Stepping through to the other side of the portal, you come to a higher dimension, time outside of time, space outside of space. You find yourself in a beautiful sacred grove on a sunny day. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. As you walk, Enjoy the green grass under your bare feet. The sun, streaming light and light coats through the trees. A gentle breeze flows through the leaves of the green trees. Notice the beautiful colors of all the blossoming flowers around. Some tall, some in bushes. Running your hands through the beautiful flowers and tall grass. Your spirit guide leads you to an opening in this sacred grove, a sacred place where in the center is a beautiful large fire. Stones circle around the fire, plenty of spots for you to sit. Your elder council is here. All your guides, spirit guides, your animal guides, your star being guides, all here. Some may show up as human in form, star being in form, or even simply beautiful energy. Taking your seat those that sit nearest to you hold the highest energy and the messages they need to share with you now.
They are here to witness your transformation, your transmutation. Staring into the beautiful fire, it seems to become brighter and brighter and larger. You are invited now to enter the fire. Enter the fire that holds the phoenix energy. It is not painful. It is beautiful energy as you step into the fire. Becoming the fire. Becoming the phoenix. Pondering that which no longer serves you. Pondering that which you know you need to release because the soul always knows the truth. Allow the anxiety to wash away, to burn away. Allow the depression to wither away in the heat. Allow the worries to become no more. Allow the challenges the challenges that which you face and have faced in the past, allow them to burn clean. Release, release, release. Let it burn away, transmuting. Fire leads nothing. Fire burns all. Everything turns to ash as you become new. As you release, allow the fire's focus now to intensify here at your root chakra, your red root chakra found at your tailbone. It burns away all but beautiful safety, security, and groundedness, burning away the fear and the thoughts of lack, burning away, burning clean. The fire leaves a high vibrational red root chakra spinning vortex of energy, focusing higher on your sacral chakra, your orange sacral chakra found just under your belly button. At your navel. It is your sensuality, your sexuality. Your creativity is found here. Your balancing of divine feminine and masculine energies. Burning away stagnancy and laziness. Release it all now as you align with your powerful sensual sexual self your beautiful creative manifesting balanced divine feminine divine masculine energetic self higher and higher the focus fans its flames deeper it purifies your power center your solar plexus found at the diaphragm the core of your power burning away all that no longer serves you any and all negative cords and attachments and lower frequencies and vibrations severing them allowing only high vibrations upliftment and peace here, as the fire burns and purifies clean, it aligns you deeper and more powerfully with your power, your will, energy, energy to achieve your goals. Your self-empowerment is ignited. Higher and higher, the fire penetrates your heart center, where you give and receive love and balance where you are reminded that you are love. You are deserving of giving and receiving love.
your emerald green chakra shines clean. Feel the love you hold for yourself as love starts with self-love and more can be given out, more can be made as much as you want. There's more than enough to go around for everyone. Higher and higher, the flames focus on your throat chakra, your sky blue throat chakra found at the throat your voice, your authentic truth, where your divine expression is ignited once again, where you allow others their self-expression as well as as you express your own. Allow your throat to be penetrated by the fire, to burn clean all that no longer serves you, to burn clean the stuffing down of your voice. It is now time for you to speak your truth, share your divine expression. It is ignited now and your personal magnetism is ignited as you speak your truth and share your divine expression. Those that align with your truth will come now. Notice your red root chakra, your orange sacral chakra, your yellow power center, your green heart center, and your blue throat chakra, cleansed, cleared, and balanced, spinning higher and higher in vibration as each one is cleansed and cleared. Even higher still now, the fire focuses on your deep purple indigo, third eye, cleansing, clearing and purifying your third eye, your visual cortex, your pineal gland, your pituitary glands, paving the way for deeper insight, your wisdom, trusting your intuition now, praying for increased psychic intuition and abilities with proper borders and boundaries in place to match your expanded psychic gifts. Seeing 1,000% more information, light codes and healing energies for you, your clients, the world, the universe, in balance for the highest and best good of all always, and always from the divine source of truth at the core of the universe, and only from sources of love and light. As the fire burns clean, you have deeper vision, clarity, and understanding here now. You feel your psychic eyes open, your psychic ears open. Your spinning indigo psychic third eye vortex is cleansed and purified. Higher and higher still, we come to your crown chakra, purple in color, white and gold on the outer edges, spinning, cleansed, cleared, paving the way with a deeper penetration of the fire, purifying all that no longer serves you, burning away any of the depression in your brain, Increasing your endorphins and serotonin levels in a balanced way for you. Paving the way for more peace, joy, and bliss with a deeper, more powerful crown chakra connected. Say to yourself, I am connected. I am. Burning clean, purifying, purifying, purifying. Reaching higher and higher to your pink soul star. Often seen like a mini sun, six to 12 inches above your head. Where to coach you? The fire burns clean and connects you deeper to your soul star, your soul's mission in life. Engulfing and spreading throughout your entire aura and energy.
Feel your red root chakra, orange sacral chakra, yellow solar plexus, heart center, sky blue, throat, indigo, third eye, and purple crown chakra cleansed, cleared, and vibrating at higher vibrations for you. Your kundalini shashumna channel is activated from your tailbone. It rises through your spine all the way up, 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 and out. Your crown, like blue lightning bolt of energy, align your spine, are your chakras, and your kundalini shashumna channel is that tube of energy that rises from tailbone all the way up through your spine and out the crown. See and feel the energy being purified, cleansed, cleared. Paving the way for powerful connections. Feel the beautiful phoenix within you. The phoenix that you are. As you are the phoenix. Fiery phoenix now. In your flame form, you rise. Your wings expand and you fly higher and higher. Above the beautiful landscape now. Noticing all the scenery below you. Enjoying the winds as it fans your flames, purifying even more. And now as you rise like the phoenix under this full moon, embrace your intentions, that which you like to magnify. Call in your intentions now. What is your soul's mission? What are you aligning with? Set your intentions in a positive, magical way. Like, I intend that I am healthy. I intend that I am wealthy and rich. I intend that I am abundant and flowing in abundance. Beams off of me spreading throughout the world. More than enough to go around for everyone. I intend that I am in the perfect relationship for me, loving or friendship. I intend that I am in the perfect career for me, making the right amount of money for me. So that I am able to give my divine soul's service and fulfilled in my bliss sharing with the world, giving of service, giving and receiving in balance. I am filled with gratitude and appreciation for all that I have received, all that I am receiving and all that I will receive. I am uplifted. I am happy. I am joyful. I am living in pure joy, high vibrations. I am light, I am love. Fly like the phoenix that you are. All that you intend now comes back to you magnified a thousandfold. So shall it be. Aho, amen, and so it is. This and even more, this and even better, ways to remind you magic is real. Now. And as you are all filled up, you send light and love to the world, to your loved ones, to those in need. As there is always more than enough for everyone. Embracing the Phoenix medicine fully. You are transmuted 
You are new. You are light. You begin to come back down, back to the fire. Near the fire, you notice there is a beautiful stream and you walk to the stream. You place your hand in the stream of water and then when you pull your burning hand out, it is now your beautiful naked hand, purified, new. And soon you are called to step fully in the water. The water rises higher and higher. You go deeper and deeper until you are fully and completely, completely embraced by the water. And your beautiful naked body steps out of the water. Vulnerable in its nakedness. Knowing that as you are vulnerable and new and you have gone through so much, you are more powerful now in your naked vulnerable self. You begin to see the cycle as you ground your energy to earth, placing your hands on the grass, sending all that no longer serves you down to Mother Earth, where Gaia can take it, transform and transmute it into pure light. The cycle, as you have embraced the beautiful fire, the beautiful water, the beautiful air, the beautiful earth, you see the cycle and the wheel turns like a spiral, you rise higher and higher through your cycles. You make your way back into the circle, embracing your elder council, all the guides, all who have come to greet you. They share their energy, and they share a special message just for you here and now. A symbol, a word, a song, a crystal, a stone, whatever it is, it is here, it is yours, it is for you. They may bring clarity to something that was on your mind as you entered this journey. We thank your guides for their message, for their energy and their attention on this special full moon, Phoenix Medicine Night. Giving them a hug and gratitude. Thanking them. It is now time to go as your spirit guide takes your hand, leading you back the way you came. As the sun has set and the moon has risen, you are energized. You and your spirit guide step back through the portal of light that brought you here, back in your safe, sacred space, where you know that in the days and weeks to come, transformations are ahead. Powerful transformations are ahead. Embrace them. And call on the Phoenix anytime you need the Phoenix medicine. We release the great guardians, angels, archangels, the horizontal force, the vertical force, Archangel Pachacuti and Metatron from above, we release you. Archangel Quetzalcoatl and Archangel Shamuel of the Middle World, we release you. Archangel Huasca and Archangel Sindolphin of the Lower World, we release you. 
Archangel Uriel in the north, we release you. Archangel Gabriel in the west, we release you. Archangel Michael in the south, we release you. Archangel Raphael in the east, we release you. Luminous ones, luminaries, ancient ones, ancestors who have come forward, we release you. And as all of your energy steps back, and recedes. We ask that you continue the work in the background for the highest and best good of all always. Turning our hands down to Mother Earth, we don't need to hold on to the energy that has been released. So all that has been released, sending it down to Mother Earth where Gaia can take this energy, transform and transmute it all into pure light. Sending it around the planet for the highest and best good of all always. May you see the sacred, hear the invisible, and know the divine always. Blessed be.